I want to let you know tonight, all lives matter. I want to let you know tonight, uh, this is December the 15th, 2016, but I'm looking for 2017. I'm looking for 2018. I'm running and say, Lord, forgive me of my sin. Save me. Sanctify me. Fill me. I wish I had somebody. Say, Lord, it's a bishop. I'm ready to make a move. You know, when you get ready to make a move, can't nothing stop it. When the water break, the baby coming. And I, I want to say, the woman can't do nothing. She said, but give me to the hospital. You know, the water, the, the water is break. The baby coming. And I want to tell you, the water breaking for success, for miracles for you, for joy for you, and east, west, north, and south, God going to do something for you. I'm praying tonight for your healing. I'm praying tonight for your deliverance. And I want you to know all over the world, wherever you might be, God is still in control. I wish somebody to know what I'm talking about tonight. I'm feeling tonight that God got a breakthrough for you that listening on Block Talk Radio, those that listening in YouTube, I want you to know that this Christmas, Jesus is the reason for the season. And it's, it's the reason is to lift you up. The angels said, there's the baby. There's the star. You are the star. Y'all don't hear me. God want to bless you tonight. God want that do it for you. I'm excited. I see one go to jail. I see one coming out that been lied on. See, the wage of sin is death. The gift of God, he turned life. I wish these pastors would get up and get serious about God's business. And if they get serious about God's business, things will open up. Now, as we get ready on blog talk and we get ready to experience what God got for you, he going to open up that door for you tonight. Some of you just, you're sick because you say, God, I want you to heal me. Not what the hospital said, not what the doctor said. God tonight can heal you. And I'm praying for your healing. You might not know you got nothing, but I decree by the power of the Almighty God, a divine healing for you, for cataract, for tumor, for heart condition, for brain condition, for high blood, low blood, whatever it is tonight, I want to give it to God. I want you to repent and say, God, heal me. God, deliver me. And God will deliver you on your word. If you just speak the word, God will heal you tonight. God will make a way out of no way for you. Some of you looking at me, some of you see me on Block Talk Radio tonight. As I'm on Block Talk Radio, I'm telling you tonight that God will deliver a healing for you. God will open a door for you. And as I come tonight, I see God blessing you and i want to tell you that god want to heal you the god of abraham the god of jacob right now god i want you to touch those families over in Bolipio, those that don't have nowhere to stay because men are bombing and killing because they got evil things on their mind i want you to come to chicago and touch every mother this christmas lost a son and a daughter them that's in mississippi Arkansas, Louisiana, those all over America that have lost loved ones because of racism, because of hate. Father God, we ask the angel Micah, the angel Raphael, and the archangels to go for, I call them tonight, to go forth and deliver healing and deliver the mind of these young folk and turn their minds around where they'll walk for you in the mighty name of God the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob tonight, whatever you might be at this 12 o'clock hour, I want God to break the yoke. All lives matter. God bless you tonight. I wanted to get that out tonight. I want God to do something for you. 
I want God to open that door for you. I thank you for letting me come into your homes and talk to you week after week, seven days a week, on Mondays, 11 to 12, Tuesday, 11 to 12, Wednesdays, 11 to 12, uh, Fridays, 11 to 12, Saturday, 11 to 12, all the week, seven days a week, that you can come from 11 to 12, and I got a word for you. God going to give me a word for you. God going to tell me how you stay healed, how you stay delivered. And I just want you to get that tonight. I want to let you know, when God give it to me, I'm going to give it to you. And tonight, I want your healing to take place. I want you to walk into next year a new man, a new woman, renewing of your mind, renewing of the word of God. When you start to read in the Bible, God going to renew your word. He's going to renew your walk, the home that you want, the car that you want, the relationship that you want. Uh, or some of you got your resume in. It's going to be all right because you have already come to somebody praying for you. And that son, that daughter in jail, and they might be in physical jail or in the county jail or in the federal jail, then they might be in jail on dope on alcohol, on drugs, on cocaine. We're praying for deliverance tonight, for total deliverance, body, mind, soul, and spirit. we calling it out right now. When you, you have not, because you ask not. When you begin to ask God in prayer, God going to clean you up. God going to take the dope out of your veins. He's going to take the sickness out of your body. God can do that. I just wish I had somebody know, got a testimony, that God did something for them. Because God is touching you each day and each night. God is touching you. I'm praying tonight for every telephone call, every letter. I'm praying for those that have come to Bishop, I need prayer. Bishop, I need a breakthrough. It's on its way. Don't stop because it's on its way now. And I want to let you know it's on its way. I want you to look to Almighty God tonight. I want you to say, to God be the glory. Just open, open our eyes so we might love each other. Open our eyes where we might get along with our family. The young man used to turn to the east, lift his hands up, and tell God, as I turn my hands up, lift my hands up for you that's in jail, I decree that you come out. Those that's in federal, those that's in state jails, those in local jails, I'm calling on the Almighty God to bring them. Let all the evil leave. For you, you, and you tonight, that marriage, that family member, Come on now. Open our eyes all around the world that we are children of the king. We are the original melanated people. We are the one. God bless you tonight. Mother love, God bless you. Sister Hawkins, Lois, God bless you. Pearl, God bless you. Sister Wood, God bless you. Reverend, God bless you tonight. The call. Brother Frank Cook, God bless you. 
Bishop Ben Ross, Baton Rouge. Thank you, Bishop. God is able tonight. The bishops and the saints and the apostles that is walking with us in prayer, that are holding us up. Our ancestry. If we just cry out, love, helpless children. Come on, somebody. I'm open our eyes. Don't give up. God gonna open your eyes. Don't give up. Joy is in the morning. I don't want you to give up because God gonna open your eyes. I don't want you to give up because God got a plan for you. So don't give up. I'm praying for you, Purpose Fan, WVON. Been a little sick, but I'm praying that God will lift you up. And I'm praying for you, you and you, wherever you're at, God is able tonight. Tonight is your night to listen to what God's saying to you. Second Kings, and I was reading that. Uh, Second Kings, when I was looking at Second Kings 19 and 35, you know, the the the, the people coming, the soldiers got together up on the mountain. They said, we're going to get up on the mountain, but in the morning, we're going to kill all of God's children. The angel came by that night, and all the multitudes, all the, the soldiers were dead. Don't tell me what God can't do. It's dangerous to mess with a man of God. It's dangerous to mess with a woman of God. It's a friend that that said, if you do it, they'll soon be cut down. Uh huh? Now, it, what it's saying to you, if God had gave you a gift, you got to exercise. You can play with it, but you got to exercise it. And God gave many of you gifts, but you won't work it. You listen to what the world's saying. You're trying to do what somebody else do. But I want God to bless you tonight. And tonight, all lives matter. Your life matter. What you think matter. What you're trying to do is matter. Don't let nobody put you down. Don't let nobody, to my Christmas, I'm depressed. Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah, I, I wish I had somebody to know. Jesus is the reason for what we're talking about tonight. The wages of sin and death, the gift of God, eternal life. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not, should not perish, but have everlasting life. But God sent his word. The word, and when you get when you when you get at a certain level, you know you can get his written word, and then he can give you revelation knowledge. You know, I was talking to Mr. White today, and revelation knowledge kicked in on me, kicked in on him. He said, "God is speaking to me now." So yeah, God's speaking to me now too. God speak to his men and women. If you're a woman of God, God gonna preach. God gonna speak to you. If you're a man of God, gonna speak to you. God ain't got. God got God is like this. I want you to let you know. God ain't got no respect to person. If you anointed woman of God, if you anointed man for God, he gonna give you the word. You know, all this mess a woman can't preach, that's a big lie. God put his spirit on his sons and his daughter. I'm a son, you're a daughter. I was just, stop letting people put you down, putting you at the back of the church. Go out in the street and preach. Go witness, huh? Yeah, you got women, they so down. They done drop their head. They go in the church, they drop their head. Hold your head up, because God put his spirit on his sons and his daughter. You're a daughter, I'm a son. He talked to his daughters and his son. He got more daughters in the church than he got sons. Go to the church and see all in there. Ain't none of them but women. Where the men's at? They out in the streets. But y'all better, better hear what I'm saying. If God got a calling on your life, and some of you got a calling on your life, and you got to work the calling that God got for you. You know, God might have you cooking. God might have you singing. God might have you preaching. God might have you. God got a calling on your life tonight. And you got to take charge of what God's saying to you and what God's doing to you. I decree that God got a door open up for you tonight. I want you to get ready and God do it. Christmas is the reason. 
for the season. Jesus, the anointed baby that born in the manger in Bethlehem. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. But God bless you tonight. I want you to know that's a door open up for you. I'm excited what God's going to do for you this year. I'm excited what God's going to do in 2017 and 2018. I'm excited what God got in store for you. Somebody ought to say glory, hallelujah. I'm on my way up. Don't stop me because you don't want to go. I'm on my way downtown if you don't want to go. You stay here because I'm going to shout glory, hallelujah. I'm going to tell everybody God is my healer. God is my deliverer. If I ask God, he's going to give me what I want. I want to tell you tonight, God got your back. East, west, north, and south. The angel Michael, Raphael, Bobby, the archangel coming. And right now, I want to I want to call the angel Raphael. Raphael, I'm calling on you to come, and I'm asking you, Archangel Raphael, I want you to go to, I want 10,000, no, I want a trillion angels as I speak tonight to go and shoo, heal what the headaches, whatever, shoo. I want them trillion angels to go to your home tonight. I want to take over. And I want you to know that the presence of God, because when the angels come, it's the presence of God, somebody. When the angels come, it's the presence of Michael, it's the presence of God to fight evil. Raphael is the presence of God to heal your body. I wish I had somebody. You got Gabriel, it hits the, the spirit of God to resurrect you. Where you're down and I lift you up. And the spirit of Metatron, it comes to move all evil that's trying to block you from your next level. Come on, somebody. God bless you tonight. I'm excited for what God's going to do tonight. I'm excited. Uh, I want to tell you all lives matter. I want to I want to tell every policeman and fireman, the first responders out there, you got to do right. Because when you don't do right, it falls back on your family. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. God is no short of his word. If his word said it, he gonna, the word, whatever he said, it's going to be done. If he say you heal, you heal. If he say you curse, you curse. And you curse with a curse when you don't obey God. Some of you sit there and play with God. You can run to every church and listen to every preacher. Don't mean nothing till you get yourself together. It, it don't mean nothing till you say, God, I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to read the word and I'm going to walk in the word because God want to bless you. I want you to get ready to say, I'm, I'm leaving alcohol alone. I, I'm leaving drugs alone. It, 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 I ain't got to jump up and down. I want to decree that alcohol demon to leave you tonight. I want to decree that that drug demon leave you, crack cocaine, leave you tonight. That lying demon, I want to rebuke him out of you tonight. That demon of sickness trying to get you out, that cataract, that tumor, that high blood, that low blood, that rheumatism, shoo, I want to create out of you by the power of, of the Almighty God tonight that you're healed. East, west, north, and south, whatever it might be, I lift the name of Jesus up over in the Middle East. With all the killings going on in Aleppo, I do that. And with the with what's going on in the government, I'm asking God to come in and straighten all this mess out with these liars and these crooks and these people trying to take over. God is in control. We got to go back to God. You can't trust man. You got to go back to God, folks. When you begin to ask God, God going to make some things happen. I'm praying tonight. Those that got burnt out, those ain't got nowhere to stay. I'm praying that God with the families in bereaved tonight praying for Mississippi that passed. We're praying for many more folks. And uh, we're praying for Brother Gon's family, uh, the mighty clouds of joy, praying for that family who lost a great man. And we're praying for many of you, whatever going on in your life, I want to let you know God is able to deliver you and God able to touch you. Get ready tonight for God to bless you. I'm asking you tonight, if you got a need, you plant a seed to our ministry. We're going. This is the last Monday in the year. Maybe you want to give a seed to help this radio broadcast. If you do it, it'd be well. Go ahead. Amen.
Amen.